The staff are rolling about long. Yeah, well, I'm not the one doing A-level English, am I? got enough in it. It's got too much in it. That's not the problem. The problem is it's all muddled up. Yeah, well, I agree with that. I mean, look, there's a complaint about the colour of the school diary, second on the list. The last thing we want to do is to present something that looks stupid. Well, let's sort that out now, then. OK, I'll take it home tonight and copy it my best handwriting. I do think the staff should see this document at least 24 hours before the meeting. That's impossible, miss. I can't copy it out by the end of the afternoon. Look... If you decide exactly what you want to say and in which order, I might be able to type it out for you. Oh, cheers, oh, miss. Thanks, miss. done a good job on this place, Vince. Looks good. Not as good as it was. I wish that Wally Cleaver would leave me alone. Uh, Trev don't like to be left out, does he? What's the matter with him? He's jealous, that's all. Just give him a good beat and he won't forget. Uh, then I'll only do it again. We have to think of a more subtle way. You're like a bomb. Stop! Oh! I should have known. Anything me mum don't want means it's up to spout. Up to spout, you get it? Vince just gives a cup of tea, all right? Water's not boiled. It doesn't matter. We need to drink, wouldn't it? You're right, you look like you've seen a ghost. It's gonna be a fright, that's all. I'm all right. Have, have you ever seen a ghost? In real life, I mean. Don't be silly. Don't believe in them. Why, have you? No, this woman who works for my aunt reckon her neighbour is. Oh, yeah? Yeah, this geezer. What geezer? The geezer who's married to the neighbour of the woman my aunt works with. Oh, yeah, that geezer. Anyway, he was coming down from work one night. What, he worked shifts then, did he? Yeah, yeah. So he's driving through the Blackmore Tunnel. And at the other end, this is this young bloke standing by a smashed up motorbike. So he stops. He says, like, do you want a lift? The bloke says, tar. Gets in, not another word said. So the driver thinks he's in shock. So he drives down the street, the fella told him, and outside the number, the fella told him. This is riveting, Vince. Yeah, anyway. He turns around and says, here we are, mate. The bloke's vanished, vanished into thin air. What, did he shut the car door properly then? Or? Yes, of course he did. Well, maybe he was drunk. No, he weren't, right? And so the fella's so shocked, he decides to go to the door where the fella said he lived. Knocks on it. After a little while, this old woman comes down. Yeah, and? And? So he says, excuse me, madam, uh, have you got a son? And we just burst out crying. She says, I did have, but he died exactly a year ago tonight in a motorbike accident just outside the Blackwall Tunnel. Never. Straight up, it's true. Vince, that's it, I've got it. What? The way of putting the fright is on Cleaver. The ghost of the secret place. So, Julie, we're going to be quite short staff today. You wouldn't believe how difficult it is to find places that will or can accommodate wheelchairs. Still, Madame Two Swords is one. I'm really sorry I can't spare you to go with them, but next time may be. Oh, I'd like that, miss. Now, perhaps I could ask you to pop along to Miss Berry's room to start with and check that everyone has everything that they need. Yes, miss. Now, our art teacher's off sick at the moment, and I thought we could give her a nice surprise for when she returns. Look, I really don't think phrases like we're sick to death of school dinners and the school diary's really out of order are quite on, do you? Well, I've pointed that out already. But that's what they actually said, miss. Well, couldn't we rephrase it? You mean water it down? No, I don't. I mean, say exactly the same thing, but make it sound more acceptable. We'll be here all week, won't we? No, there's not that many. Well, anyway, I've got to go. I'm sorry. All right, Charlie. Yes, See you. See you. Right then, boys. What's another phrase for really out of order? She manages to get the most amazing work out of the children. But there's so little room in here. Do you enjoy art, Stephen? Not really, Miss Nair. Oh, well, never mind. Now, I'd like you to make this room ship-shape. Starting, I think, with this cupboard. Will it be all right? Yeah, Miss. Yeah. So, 
Hi. Make my big sis. Right. Hi. What are you doing? You know you're supposed to be in lesson. I think she'll be a teacher when she grows up, you know. <laughs> anyway, what about you? I've what got you some doing? free time. Yeah, well, I didn't fancy French, did I? Oh, and what time will you fancy coming over for tea tonight? I'll then? leave it out, Cheryl, can't you? You're only a couple of years older than me, you know, not 20. Webb? Yes, sir. Why are you not in my class? I uh, had to talk to my sister about something, sir. That is no excuse. Well, what are you waiting for? Yes, sir. So I say. And you, boy, what are you doing out of lessons? Nothing, sir. Going to the toilet, sir. Kindly leave your private discussions until break time, hmm? Yes, sir. It's unbelievable. He won't even speak to me or Zemo. If he had his way, I wouldn't be getting married till I was 48. What about your parents? They're doing everything they possibly can to put me off. So their views are so old and ridiculous. Are oh, they? Like you and all. Well, what's this mad rush to get tied down to a bloke for? Tied down? It's not torture. You know. Oh, you're just jealous. And me? I've got enough responsibility without volunteering for any more. Listen, I was having a chat with Ross Partridge and she thinks... You've no right to chat about me to Ross Partridge or anyone else. Cos it's none of their flipping business. It's my life and I'll do what I like with Listen, it. Listen, I didn't mean... Look, me and Sam are getting married. And I don't give a monkey's who objects. Cos maybe I'll find out who my friends are in the process. And I'll tell you something else. She never gave me nothing else to do apart from tidying up the art. Well, I don't know what you're complaining for. I'm worn out. You know what it is, don't you? It's Regan, she rubbish my reference. I doubt she'll do that. So why are they all treating me like I'm a delinquent out of an horror movie then? Look, one of the issues the school council's involved with is making sure we see our testimonials and profiles. So? So instead of just complaining, why don't you go and do something about it? I will, don't worry about it. Where are you going? To find Partridge. What's up with him? He reckons your mum rubbished him to the headmistress of where we're doing this work experience. She wouldn't do that. That's what I told him. Where are you going? To find my mother. Listen, Rob, we'll catch up later, all right? Yeah, See you in a minute. Hang on, Kelly. Listen, what am I supposed to ask for today? Oh, I don't know. I've not had time to prepare them yet. Anyway, what's the hurry? Well, today stars won't mean much tomorrow, will they? I mean, what's so special about today? The cup match at St. Joseph's. So? So? Am I going to score? Or, or more precisely, how many goals am I going to score? I can't predict that sort of thing. Well, please, just how many stars right. for today. Look, don't look in here. We're still working on that. Yes, yes, yes. Well, what's it say, then? You will certainly be in the spotlight today. Yes. Potential ambitions will be achieved. That's you are on top form. So make sure you don't let opportunities slip through the net. Thank you, pal. Nice one. Mike! <laughs> so immature. You don't know where the lad is who's supposed to be on litter duty, do you? No, you don't yeah. know where he is. I know where he ought to be if he thinks this place is litter free. Down the opticians. Mum, can I have a word? Well, can't you wait till after school? No, it can't. What do you mean by writing Stephen a bad reference? What are you talking about? I didn't write any reference at all. Well, why not? Because none was required. I just rang up and spoke to the school on the telephone. Ah, oh, so that's when you put the boat in. Laura, you know I can't discuss school business with you or tell you anything about a pupil when it's confidential. But I will tell you this, what I said about Stephen was in no way unfavourable. Can you assure him of that? Well, can you? Where is he? He's with Rock and his partner. Right. Look, I don't care what you say. I've just about had enough. I'm not going back there this afternoon. Well, that's not a very sensible decision. Oh, well, that depends on how you look at it, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It'll just reconfirm the school's opinion that you're unreliable. End of case. That's not fair. Look, if you go back there now, I'll try and find out what went wrong. I know what went wrong. It's Regan's reference. Listen, if you don't go now, you'll be late, and then you'll really be in trouble. Person. Is it about Stephen Banks? Well, yes, it is, actually. 
Look, he's not got a lot going for him. He's trying to make the best of a place. Hang on, what's that got to do with me? I think you're jumping to conclusions. Well, don't jump down my throat, Liz. What's this? Well, I said I'd type up the student's paper for the school council. Oh, I suppose you're going to add a postscript about Stephen Banks. No, I'm not. But I am going to include his suggestion that pupils be allowed to see what's said and written to outside agencies about them. As it happens, nothing was written about him. And if you'd asked me, I'd have told you. George, she hasn't eaten anything. Look at her. No, she's all right. She's probably not hungry. No, she wouldn't have been all quiet either. Look, there's something wrong with her. Well, what should we do then? She's ill. George, look at her. You wait here. I'll go and get Griffiths. It was a successful start, wasn't it? Yeah, a bit too successful. There's hardly anything left for us. I thought the queue would never go down. Look, I'm sorry I had to leave you for a few minutes, but I had to have a word with Louise. Oh, that's all right. She's got no boyfriend, isn't she? She's got no one every week. She comes home late nearly every night, and I never know when she's going to be in from school. She just tells me to stop nagging. I don't know what to do. I feel so responsible for her. Yeah, I know. It is hard being the oldest. I mean, but with you, it must be worse. I suppose that's part of the reason behind me thinking you're mad to get married. I'm beginning to feel I've got no freedom and she's only my little sister. Yeah, but it's not quite the same, though. Well, not quite. But I know I could feel great to feel important and needed to someone. But when you're talking about marrying them, well, then you've got to think about what you want and what they can give you. Yeah, well, I want to get married. But why? <sighs> Look, I know what you're thinking, and I'm not. Not what? I don't have to get married. I wasn't thinking that at all. Hello there. This is Perry. Perry, this is Stephen. All right, mate. Do they call you Steve or Stephen? Uh, well, usually they call me uh, Banksy. Well, um, the secretary told us to tell you to hang around here. He's got a task for you. Yeah, it's probably sharpening a pencil or something stupid like that. So, what do you lot do here then? Much the same as you, I expect. Well, our level's a CSE, isn't it? Yeah. What well, have you got any? She has. I haven't done mine yet. How many you got them? Nine. Nine CSEs? Blimey. No, she means I level, so I mean you got in. I'll give you a rest, Perry. I'll oh, tell you the truth, mate. She's got nine more than what I have. Yeah, but you got a bike. I bet you want to swap that for my O levels. Yeah, true. But then again, my bike won't be much good for you. Sorry, I didn't mean to be. That's not anything. Nah, it's the truth. Yeah, well, I've, I've never actually thought about it, you know, not being able to walk and all that. Why should you? Yeah, it's worse when people do that, get all careful and sentimental. Yeah, well, I'll try not to get careful and sentimental then, all right. Is that boy from Grange? Oh, there you are. Would you please post these? Take them to the post office. I don't trust pillar boxes in London, nor does the headmistress, for that matter. Lucy and Perry will tell you where it is, won't you? Yeah. Right, good. Off you go, then. Good, isn't it? If I wanted to be a postman, I would have gone to the post office for a job. So where is it then? We're coming with you. Nah, she said you'd tell me, not show me. Nah, she said to show him, didn't she? Yep. And she meant you'd go in one of these chairs. Leave it out, mate. Didn't you know it's all part of the work experience programme? Yeah, I'm sure it is. Oh, I'll join the club. Don't be so stupid. Why well, don't you worry what people might think? No, not at all. It's just, uh, well, I don't know how to use it, do I? If you can ride the motorbike, you're laughing. Yeah, it hasn't got any gears for one thing. Look, forward, back, try it. Oh, it's pretty nifty, isn't it? Right, come on then, let's go. Hang on a minute, we can't all just go out, all three of us in wheelchairs. Oh, it's not that, it's just how, how are we going to get up uh, steps and, and things like that? It's only around the corner, about 50 yards. Look, I'm not going to get in trouble for this. No, we're always going out by ourselves. We're in Oxford Street, Piccadilly Circus, everywhere, aren't we, Perry? We have to need to get stuck so high because your hand gets a laugh. Yeah, but this is just around the corner, isn't it? Come in. I've got... I've got papers for the school council, miss. Thank you. I'll get this photocopied and we can all have a good look at it before the meeting. I'm sure we don't have to read it. I can imagine what it says. 
change everything. And I can imagine the spelling. Oh, no, the spelling looks excellent. I gather Miss Partridge typed it. Look, I don't see as I've got to come at all. Post letters. Yeah, but you two can do that. Look, I'm trying to get out of it. I'll s slow down a minute. Wait, hang on. Goodness has gone to run the vet. He said to put this over. Is she any better? No, I think she's getting worse. I don't think she's going to die, do you? No, of course not. She's just really ill. Oh, dear. Hey, have you got a Bible? Not on me, no. Well, do you reckon you could get me one? Are you mad? Look, George, if she dies, I feel it was all my fault. Of course not. How could it be? Well, maybe I did something wrong. I don't know. I ain't trained in looking after donkeys, well, am I? don't I? see what good a Bible's going to do, unless she fancies eating it. You never know. Please? Oh, OK. Sorry, love. Oh. Helen, are you feeling all right? Yeah, I only wish I could say the same thing for Harriet, though. Where's Griffiths with the vet? George, if she dies, everyone will blame me. They all know I was Imelda's best friend. I think I poisoned her or something. I didn't, because I love her. I love you. Of course no one will blame you. Everyone knows how much you love her. Helen, what are you doing with that Bible? There's lots of donkeys in it, isn't there? I can't find where. <sighs> Look under Easter. See now why we couldn't do it. It's stupid, isn't it, putting that eye up? That's not the outfit. How are we supposed to buy stamps? We can't even get out of the stair. Yes, yeah, son. Let me do that for I you. I leave it out, mate. I can do it myself. Mm. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Did you see that? It's a miracle. Go ahead to the village, and there you will find a donkey tied up with her colt behind her. Untie them and bring them to me. And if anyone says anything, Tell him the master needs them. He will let them go at once. Do you know, I haven't seen Stephen Banks since I sent him to the post office. I hope there wasn't any money with those letters. Oh, no, nothing at all valuable. I think it was a mistake taking him, really. He's obviously unhappy here. You can see him wondering why he couldn't have had proper work experience in a garage or something. He's a nice enough lad, but he's the sort that holds his breath the moment he arrives. Have either of you two seen Lucy or Perry? They haven't turned up for my class. I, I can't find them anywhere. Oh, those two. They're probably robbing a bank. What? And that's probably the police. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Winston. It's played according to time. Suppose one side scores ten goals in five minutes. It'd be a waste of time continuing. <laughs> Where's Helen? Harriet's not feeling too good, so Helen's keeping her company. <laughs> and I thought Helen was a hard case. These are quite easy when you get the angle, aren't they? Yeah. Should we play the singer card? Yeah, it's a fancy game. What, with you? Yeah. Oh, uh, what do you mean with me in this? No, I bet you won't. Well, look, to be fair, right, I'll give you two shots to my one. Who put money on this? Come on, lads, play to the wings! Oh, good ball! Now chase it! How much are they, son? 20p at half time. But as soon as it's you, Trev, you have on the ass. Oh, charming. Good job with your Daryl Secret Place. You think I improved the decorations? Move up, yeah, spread much. out! We should take that place over, you know? What? Me and you? Yeah, it's too crowded, them kids in. Yeah, Come on, that's it. Right. Fall back. Fall back. Fall back. Mark your man. Let's play games in there. Chess. Tiddlywinks. Really? Kids games. They'll be knitting next, I tell you. Now we should take that place over. Oh, just the two of us? Yeah. What an inch sweet, yeah. I'll see you tomorrow break then. All right. Oh, Trev. Give us a pill. I'll throw it away for you. Banks, 
Lucy. I don't know, I didn't see him this afternoon. But then again, we're in different parts of the school. Maybe we went straight home. Well, they did say meet me here. Stay still. Don't move your legs. Stay as you are. Stay right now. <laughs> okay. Okay, come on. Lift him up. <laughs> Gently does it. Go on, give him some more legs. Come on, right out of the way. Yeah. Gently. Look what Anne's done. This is stupid pastime. It's not Anne's fault. That's a game. Rubbish. It's football, not mobile. I'm going. Don't go. It's almost finished. Their fault, miss. I've just had a phone call from a worried gentleman who says he saw three children in wheelchairs and a miracle. Do you know anything about it? No, miss. Stephen? No, nothing, miss. No one's been joyriding outside in wheelchairs? No, miss, we've been here. No one's been encouraging innocent newcomers to break school rules? No, miss. Scouts on the miss. You found the post office all right, Stephen? Oh, yeah, no trouble. No trouble at all, miss. Good. And are you two going to apologise to Miss Hamilton for missing her lesson? Yes, miss. Sorry, miss. Mm. Could we finish the game there? I should think so. Who's winning? Or need I ask? We're about equal. No, really? No, no. She's just been kind, miss. Uh, she's two games up. Well, don't let me interrupt. Oh, shouldn't you have gone by now, Stephen? Um, I just thought I'd stay a little bit longer this afternoon, miss, if that's all right with you. Of course. And also, I said I'd come back tomorrow. I was going to help Perry jazz up his chair a bit. Jazz up? Well, you know, nothing special, just customise it a bit. Four-wheel drive, miss. Right. Well, I'll see you all tomorrow, then. Right, it's your shop. She's all right, let me say, don't she? Here, listen. You won't let on to no one, will you? About you beating me a snooker. It doesn't stop you doing things just because you're in a wheelchair. No, it's not that. It's just, uh. Well, what is it? Well, I don't mean mates, so I've been beaten by a girl. Huh. That says it all, that does. <laughs> <laughs> 